Okay, second time's a charm because I didn't have the microphone on me, so it just looks like this. Welcome back, everybody. It is Vlogmas Day number 10, and I've only done nine videos, but y'all gotta forgive me. So for Vlogmas Day 10, I decided to share with you all another story time because story times are fun, and this story time is crazy. I've been sitting on this story time for a while because it's so bizarre and so problematic that I needed to tell my mother what I planned on doing before I did it. Not because I needed her approval, but because she needed to know the background story before she got an alert that had a title like, I did porn. And she'd be like, wait, what? We need to have a conversation. This is about the time when I thought I had done porn without my own knowing. Just put that out there. So a few months ago, I'm sitting at home watching TV and my ex sends me a text message. We are not cool. We are not on speaking terms. His name is not even stored in my phone, but he's had this number forever, so I know it when I see it. So I open this text, because I'm like, what, what what, we got to talk about? It's been months, like, we, we, we ain't friends. So I open the text, and it's like cryptic. And he's like, I know I'm the last person you wanted to hear from or expected to talk to, but I have a really serious question that I need to ask you. Have you been videotaped without your own knowledge? And I'm like, what? Uh, no, not that I can think of. I started becoming really nervous. Like my stomach started hurting, my heart started racing, my hands started shaking because I didn't know what was about to come next. So I tell him, no, not that I know of. So I started to reevaluate my life and instances and just things. Like when you hear something like that, you just start like, rewinding your life and being like, wait a minute now. But I didn't have, that wasn't like a major concern, but you just never know, especially with iPhones and camera phones being so prevalent. So he responds and says, I'm not trying to scare you. Sir, I'm already scared. Cause I'm feeling like I'm about to cold green in this bitch. I'm about to have to go beat somebody's ass and then sue them for defamation of character. And I'm willing to do it. He's like, I don't want to scare you. I'm about to send you this link. So I'm thinking, maybe he found out I'm on YouTube. Who knows? Because the first story time was about him. So I'm thinking, maybe, like, I have a YouTube presence, but that's my own doing. No one has put videos up. So then I started thinking, well, has someone taken one of my videos and done something weird? Because that has happened before with my DNA video. So all of these things are, like, running through my mind. And I'm freaking out. So he sends me a link and it's like a triple X rated link. And then of course it has BBW in the URL. And I'm like, oh man, what is this about to be? So I like said a little prayer and then I click the link and the video loads. And so the play button appears and I'm just like, Jesus, if this is me and somebody has done something that they are not supposed to do, you gonna have to keep me near several crosses because I'm about to commit murder on somebody. So I press the play button and you hear the background noise and the video starts like playing. But the first shot you see is like the person had their phone in their hand and they was kind of like just willy nilly with the phone in their hand. And so there's a shot of a window in like an apartment. And on the window is a black garbage bag. Pause. That's when I knew that couldn't have absolutely nothing to do with me because I do not have friends who have black garbage bags up to their <laughs> up to their window. So that was the first way I was like, now you ought to know. I'm a classy lady, okay? My friends don't do things like that. We will get the real, if it's cold, we will get the real plastic you put up with like the, like the uh, blow dryer situation. We classy, okay? So that's why I was like, this can't, nah, this ain't me. 
So, but I'm still stressed out because I'm like talking to myself like, gee, when you been somewhere with people who got black garbage bags up to their windows, like think about your life. You do got some, you got some crazy hood friends, but nah, brother, like mm, that don't feel right. So then the next thing you know, the camera, so this gentle guy, <laughs> this man is like sitting on a couch or something and he has his, his, his member out. And then there's a woman and we never see her face for like the first few seconds. And slowly she starts to turn her head. And y'all, for 0.3 seconds of my life, I thought it was me. I was like, what, <laughs> what is this? But then baby girl came into full view of the camera and I was like, now you know that ain't me. You know that girl ain't me, but I, I swear, Three tenths of a second, she was me. Three tenths of my life stopped. Three tenths of my 28 years here on this big, beautiful earth stopped because I thought that that was me. So when she comes into full view, I'm like, oh, that ain't me. So then <laughs> I like start fast forwarding. The, it's like a three minute video or something. I don't really know. I start like fast forwarding and seeing if somebody else pops up because I'm like, I know this ain't got nothing to do with me, but I'd be damned if my face pop up somewhere else in this video. I scroll all the way through, get to the end. So I sent him a text and I'm like, you really thought that was me? He was like, yeah, man, she looks just like you. I said, no, 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 she don't look just like me. And to add to that, it couldn't have been an old video because the title of the video was put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. And you know how new that is. So it couldn't have been, it had to be from this time. So I'm sending him through the ringer. I'm like, look at her hair. Her hair is straight, relaxed, and very short. I'm like, this would have had to been something that was done when I was like way younger because I'm natural. I have a crap ton of hair. I was like, and furthermore, you knew that just wasn't me. Like. He was like, well, you know, I know we, we not cool or whatever, but I don't want nobody putting you out here like that. I ain't trying to have nobody like, you know, play you or nothing. And then I was like, I appreciate that. But my friend, that girl was not this girl. So once I realized it wasn't me, I like just slowly started to calm down, slowly began to breathe, stopped shaking because I was still shaking y'all like I was shook I was K Michelle don't have me shake the table I was shook I was terrified because that's the way people are out here they will throw you on the internet and make you look like a terrible person and again I had to talk to myself like you know you don't even do things that would cause that to happen but the moral of the story is don't scare people like that just say what you need to say. He was so cryptic. It scared the hell out of me, y'all. Like, I was so terrified. So leave a comment below. Tell me, has something like this ever happened to you? Have you ever thought that a video of you or pictures of you were somewhere that they weren't supposed to be on the internet and you got shook? What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Like, if this has never happened to you, but just hearing my story, you're like, oh God, this is what I would have did. Tell me what you would have done because as far as I know, I would have committed homicide. If you know somebody this has happened to, like, let's just chat because the internet is scary, y'all. That is my story time. I am not, nor have I ever, done porn. Not this girl, she's got standards. And not to say that if you do porn, you don't have standards, but my mama would kill me. And I like my life. So, thumbs up the video, y'all. Leave the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to the family, get to it. Make sure you subscribe because, I mean, if you ain't subscribed, then you just kind of lurking and that's problematic, okay? So until tomorrow, everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Y'all finished or y'all done? Y'all done? Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put some respect on my name.